Okay, uh, hi, uh, this is Jim, uh, and Dave's behind the camera as per usual. Uh, I'm going to um, talk about today about my the lemon tree in the front yard here. Now, you back up, Dave. Yeah, yeah thanks. Uh, Dave, keep the camera on me. Dave, Dave, no, 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 no. Ego, ego, ego. Back up, back up. Why don't you? Okay, hi, uh, this is Jim. Uh, Dave's, uh, as per usual, is behind the camera, and that's just as well. Anyway, um, today I'm going. What, no problem. Today I'm going to uh, talk about the lemon tree in the front yard because I've noticed some interesting things that are probably only going to be interesting to me, you know. But that's the way my mind works. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Good job, Dave. All right. Now I'm going to make my way over to this lemon tree. Dave's going to keep the camera on me. Make sure your finger doesn't get in the way of that iPod, Dave. I can see it getting in the way. Almost getting in the way. All right. Now, I noticed some unusual thing. Uh, by the way, uh, for the past uh, few years, I've heard a lot of things about honeybees. And uh, the, the, let's move into the shade, Dave. This is uh, right there. I noticed, I noticed some things about the honeybees where I've heard some alarming reports about honeybees. One that they're dying off. One that they're dying off in great numbers and there's different theories as to why this is happening. And why are you mumbling, Dave? Cut. No, but the don't. fruit okay. of the lemon okay. is impossible. Dave, to Dave, I'm trying to, Dave. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, folks. I apologize for that temporary interruption due to Dave's inability to follow simple uh, directions. But we're, we've started up again. Uh, as I was saying, uh, the honeybee has gone through uh, some alarming uh, uh, you know, problems over the past three or four years. One of them, they've been dying off in great numbers, and there's been different theories as to why this is occurring. One theory is that uh, they've been infested with mites. But lately, I've heard uh, talk of cell phones being the cause of it, that the microwaves coming from cell phone towers are causing the honeybees to uh, expire. And Would uh, the mighty mouse help that out or no? What? What? Mighty mouse? Oh, okay. Uh, I apologize for uh, Dave starting to fantasize. Uh, no, but one thing I would like to point out, I... I I became worried about the honeybees because uh, I noticed this year that the crop of lemons on this particular tree in the front yard here seemed to be off. There were only a few lemons. There was like a lemon here and a lemon there. These aren't, are, of course, they're not ripe yet. And they look like limes now, but they really are lemons. They'll turn, eventually they will turn yellow. Uh, and I was somewhat alarmed about that. But later on, more blossoms started appearing on the on the uh, the lemon tree, which uh, surprised me because uh, I didn't know that they blossom more than one one time a year. I have not wa observed that in previous years. I don't know why. Hey Jim, about the lemons, what? their coloring. What about? Them? Well, did, did they in the years past did they develop a rich yellow or a pretty much moderate yellow? Uh, a yellow, you know, just okay. like yellow. Well, lemon you know what yellow? it is if it doesn't turn all the way. What they call that? afraid to ask what? they call it mellow yellow quite right okay sorry for that interruption continue please Jim okay anyway I'm trying to hurry up because I don't want a YouTube that's like three hours long okay okay so anyway I was gratified to find out that it rebloomed again and then a surprising thing happened as I said that uh, they didn't seem to have the usual numbers of well, there's a spot on that I don't know what, that, what that's from Okay, back up, back up, Dave. The kick, keep the camera. Back up, back up, back up. Back up. Uh, okay. Jim needs to have his face on the camera at okay. all times. Okay, but I did see in the corner of my eyes, I saw one of our heroes that I was talking about earlier, the honeybee. And I love honeybees. And by the way, people who don't like bees, I don't understand you. I know they sting, but they only sting in self-defense. They're not, and also I'd like to point out when a bee stings you, it's giving up its life to do so. It's a suicide on its part. So bees will, will avoid stinging you. They'll go to great lengths to avoid stinging you. About the only time you you get stung is when you accidentally step on one if you're wearing you have bare feet like I do right now. 
So it's not smart to go around in bare feet outside. Young children at home. <laughs> we're, we're professionals. Not, Do not attempt this at home. I'm not uh, going uh, to talk about walking around bare feet. I mean, I, I have a right. I have a God-given right to walk around bare feet where I live in the front yard. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to be careful not to step on any dead or dying bees. So, but what I was saying that the, I only saw a few... Um, I'm know, looking at one, Jim, look at that one pollinating hey, Dave, right Dave, there. Dave. Where do you got? Where? He's pollinating that flower right there. Where? Where? You'll see. Okay. Okay, don't, don't disturb it. Anyway, yeah, that's it. That's a good... Can you get a good shot of that? Move in. Move in on that day. I scared him away. Well, keep watching. He's going over here. Now, he's doing his job, doing a great job. He's one of the heroes of mankind. In fact, he's the only animal in the wild kingdom that produces or manufactures a food that man can eat. Okay. Um, but uh, I'm not talking about uh, honey uh, uh, production here. I'm talking about simple pollination of fruit trees. By the way, they also create food not by making not not just by making honey, but they create food by pollinating fruit trees. If we didn't have the honeybee here, we'd have to rely on the wind or 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 butterflies or other other insects to do it, and they wouldn't do a good a job as the honeybees do. So you're saying uh, that uh, evolution is false, and that God creating the earth and designing it this way is the the way a thing and why things are so wonderful. Okay, Dave, I, I need to explain something. Dave is, um, you know, where, where are you going, Dave? Okay, he's getting. A, Dave is, uh, 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 you know, a student of the Bible, and he doesn't. He rejects uh, Darwinianism, you know, and quite frankly, I too, uh, in all honesty, do not accept Darwin. I believe that God created, uh, you know, everything and. And uh, there is uh, what you would call uh, intelligent design in nature. And I believe that God created all of us. And that it, uh, it did not evolve from something else. I hope we're not scaring these away. Okay. Uh, anyway, but I wanted to get on uh, back to the honeybee. Now, the interesting thing I've noticed, and I'm probably sure that this is pretty... This is an obscure interest, and not a lot of people are going to be interested in this in this video, but I'm interested in it, so that's why I'm going to talk about it. I, I said I was originally, earlier this year, disheartened that there was only a few uh, fr uh, examples of lemons coming onto the tree, because um, the, the, the first batch of blossoms, and I thought that was going to be the only batch of blossoms to be... Dave, you're, you know, you're kind of letting the cat out of the bag before I want the cat to be let out of the bag. I was going to surprise people with that, but I'll, since Dave's kind of like giving, giving my play away. It's stealing your pop is the, is the cool people talk. Stealing him. my thunder is stealing what your I pop. Was, Stealing my thunder. Okay. Okay. As I said, there were, I only saw a few lemons here and there, but later on, as I said, oh, I'm over here, Dave. Got me? Okay. Uh. Oh, by the way, there's a monarch butterfly here, Dave. Let's get a look at this. Over there. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I think it's a monarch. Are you getting it, Dave? Well, I was hoping it was going to be a lunch for a little birdie. A cute little birdie would come by and have hey, a nice hey, lunch hey, now. Don't, but... don't, don't, don't try to be funny. Okay. As I was saying, uh, I... Hey, let's put you the let camera Jim, back on me. Jim needs to be in the camera at all times so okay. we can see him. Okay. Right. As I was saying that I was disappointed that there were only a few sparse smattering of lemons here and there. But then two days ago I came out and I was looking at the tree and I saw something really amazing. I pointed that out a minute ago in this video, Jim. I know. Thanks for giving it away. Look at this. There's about 16 lemons right in this little cluster. Isn't that amazing? You should 16... peel a couple off and bust them off, and then the other ones will be more healthy and grow. Well, actually, Dave, I know you're trying to do that in a humorous, um, obscure way that you, you know, do. But actually, that might be a good idea. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let nature take its course. I'm going to leave those alone. When Jim and I'm turns his back, I'm going to do that. No, you better not, Dave. You had better not darn well touch my plant. You leave that alone. Actually, it's not my plant. It's the lady who owns the... I don't... I rent here. Dave, are you, is, your, is your, Dave, keep your finger out of the iPod. Okay, don't touch her lemon tree. I rent here, I don't really own the lemon tree. I should be honest about that. 
Okay, but uh, here's an interesting little cluster. There's. Uh, it seems like your elbow is knocking some of those lens off. It seems off. like there's. <laughs> you knocked them off. Pack the ones you didn't want. There's there's nothing been knocked off. Okay. Okay. It seems like there's been maybe th two or three. Well, more than two, three or even four waves of pollinations going on. Because you'll notice that there are different lemons in different stages of development. You have over here, uh, you know, a halfway advanced stage, you know, it's halfway to getting uh, ripe. And that would be the, the late, the, the most developed stage at this time. And then you have these, uh, I would call an intermediate stage. And then you have these little tiny, uh, in, for lack of a better word, impregnations of, uh, of, of blossoms. And you, you, I, I can see about three or four different stages of, of, of is there such a word as fruitation, I guess? A fruitation. Ma of, maturation. Can you do something with maturation? I don't know what maturation means. Maturity. Maybe. Maturation. Okay, maturation. There, there, there are about three or four different stages. Of, so. Uh, and I noticed that there are even newer blossoms. These blossoms haven't even uh, bloomed yet. So that that I was fascinated by that because I had rich. I've lived here for eight years, and I've always assumed that that it just blooms once during the year, and then the, they get pollinated. Here's a little. Here's one of our friends. So the, notice he isn't attacking me. And he's not a African Africanized honeybee. He's just ordinary honeybee, and he he's he's not. He he, he has no intention of causing me any any uh, harm. So. Uh, that's what this probably pretty boring video is about this time. I imagine nobody's going to come and comment because, you know, and we'll probably only get maybe 50 views on this. But uh, nevertheless, that's what I'm interested in, and that's what I wanted to talk about. I assume nobody's going to bother to comment. I'm not going to beg anymore for people to comment on our comments. Okay.